Welcome to the Dress Up Mom. I'm back for another week of showing you the outfit choices that I picked for the week and what I wore. I really hope that these inspire you in some way to have a little bit more fun getting dressed. This is one of my favorite vintage pieces that I own. It is a Leonard dress from probably the 60s or the 70s. Leonard, it's a Parisian designer and it's printed jersey and it also has like his little signature, the Leonard signature on it. I just love the colors. It has these kind of bat wings and he's kind of known to being sort of poochy-esque. To me, this is like wearing a beautiful painting, especially when it gets to be nicer outside. I like to bring this out. It has a belt that comes with it too with this nice gold detailing. It's a nice little skinny belt that I can wear with other things as well. I just love the colors and everything about this. I have it with my Christian Louboutin flats that have, I've had for years too that seem to stay current. Both of these pieces I bought at a really nice consignment designer consignment boutique. It's called Repeat Boutique and it's in Encinitas and the designer boutiques are really nice to find kind of nicer high-end designer pieces that you can get for much less than you ever would buy them for and they're usually in really great shape. This looks this was almost like it wasn't even worn and it's quite old. So that's today's look. Today I have on my Theory sweater that I got resale. These are some beads from Santa Fe that my mom gave me. It's a long necklace that I turned into, just doubled up as a choker. I have on my Tanner belt, which is a company up in, I think, Oregon. They make these beautiful leather belts. Kit and Ace pants. And then these shoes I just love. It's one of my favorite companies, Artemis Designs, which I will put in the description below. It's this woman that sources them in, I think these were made in Morocco, like by women-owned companies. They're great shoes, handmade, and I love wearing them. And then finally, I have my little bag that I got from Hummus Global Market in LA when she comes. This is made out of old saris by women in India. So that's the look for today. I love getting to wear a hat out, especially if you're not in the mood to kind of wash your hair. I love this hat. My husband bought it for me. It's a nice felt hat that isn't too big, but I really love it. And I have it with these earrings from 454 Tattoo Shop. I have this vintage nice sweater that has a little bit of bling and fun with it and underneath just a striped little tank from St. John Knits. Resell kind of sparkly belt and then these are page jeans that I bought at my sister's closet. But check out these cowboy boots. How fun are these? They're leather and embroidered white up here and then sparkly kind of cloth down there. They're super comfortable. I got those at Flashbacks. Honestly, cowboy boots resale is a must. They're so great. They get such good ones in there. They're already worn in, so I would highly recommend getting any kind of cowboy boots resale if at all possible. You can find some really fun things. Today, I am mixing print on print, and I think it works because the prints, the colors are basically the same. And again, these animal prints to me now are kind of like a neutral, so I feel like you can put things together and I think this is a little bit fun. Both the skirt and the top I bought at a thrift slash resale place, which is called Flashbacks in Encinitas. This is a lamb skirt, Gwen Stefani's line, a lamb skirt. And this is just like an old Jamaica, maybe vintage Jamaica butterfly top. It also has the butterfly in the back, which I think is kind of cool. And then I just paired it with these Louboutin flats that I got at a designer resale place. Again, I think um, resale for Louboutins is the way to go. And then my hair is a mess, so I just put it up in a little bit of a headband and I am off to work. That is it for this week. Thank you so much for watching. I would love your comments below on which outfit you liked or maybe something you thought didn't work, but anything would be welcome. 
If you are a subscriber and regularly watch, I love you, thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed, please do. It's the button right below. It's free, it would mean the world to me. We are also on all of the social media outlets, at The Dress Up Mom, hashtag The Dress Up Mom. Again, thanks for watching, and until next time, dress it up a little.